Oh, it should be instant now. They're gonna hit it right on top. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Right now, go. There he is. Permit. Oh. Captain Glenn Andrews. We're in the Gulf of Mexico. And we got us a nice permit on the end of the line here. Where are we at, Glenn? Uh, we're just south of uh, Marco, about, uh, I'm not gonna tell you how many miles, <laughs> but uh, I you know, that's our little secret. But uh, we've got some rock piles down here that are just loaded with big permit. We're coming out to get snook now. And we came up, we're looking for the, for the little rock pile. And the school of permit out here just came up and I thought it was the wreck. I said, Glenn, what's this out here? Is that, is that the wreck? He says, no, man, it's permit. I said, we gotta get one of these. So we're gonna show this fish to you. Then we're gonna get some snook on the line and show you. Check that school. Oh. Kind of reminds me of them black fins. <laughs> uh, you know, I did that here, uh, Blair, here a couple years ago. Really? Look at him under the boat, right under the boat. Here he is, George. <sighs> Man, that power pro sounds weird going through that line. Man, these things got some pull. Just tell me when you got him close there and I'll, uh, I'll okay. bring you the net. Okay. He's having his way with me right now a little bit. They don't fight much. Uh, when I was using monofilament was to grab the line, but with this power pro, you don't want to grab it too much because it will do some damage if you've got a fish that'll run real fast and peel off the line. Uh. Having his way with me right now. <laughs> Easy 20 pounds. He took one look at you, Glenn, and said, What? Thanks a lot. Hot and heavy, and uh, we've used this net a lot. My first big permit. Man, these things are awesome. <sighs> yeah. There's a little color down there. Man, this thing like bringing up a manhole cover. What a beautiful permit. That's a big permit. That fish right there is, uh, he's 25 pounds or better. It's the biggest permit I've ever caught. I think the ones we get up around the Space Coast up there don't get near this big. Uh, this one's 25, 28. We get them around the wrecks up there off the Space Coast and they come up and float like that, but they ain't near this size. All of them are this big and bigger. I've caught some of the biggest permit I've ever caught on a wreck just north of us here, and I've got them at 35, 45 pounds. All right, he's right here by the boat. Brother, we're okay. gonna bring this sucker back. Well, Wait till y'all see this permit. Well, that's, a, that's a big fish. Yeah, watch that step. Yeah, it'll definitely. All right, bring him on over here. All right, give me a little slack. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, what a fish. <laughs> oh my God. Look at this. Man, check out oh, this great fish. Big fish. Okay, you got him? Yeah. Just grab him underneath. Oh, oh man. Easy, easy. Easy. Well, look at that. He's he's close to 30. Blair. Is that a permit? Yeah, that's a that's a 30 pounder right or is there. Is that a permit? Hey, y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back with Captain Glenn Andrews. Some more addictive fishing. That's a 30, Woo! that's a 30 ah. pound permit right there. All right, look at that. All right, let's put him back in the water. All right. Double, Double permit. Double <laughs> permit. Woo! Don't well, stick around, we're gonna try to bring you some snook next. Okay. Should we do the double release? Look 
it go. Oh, let me get my crab out to him. <sighs> Look at him. Get up here, George. Get up here, George. Right down here below us. Guard the permit. Look at him. Check him. What is that on the back? Oh, you spooked my. Let me, let me What's get What's that up. in the back? Okay. Look at these permits. Unbelievable. Uh, they're, Unbelievable. They're spooked now. They won't, even, they won't even hit this crab. Check them out. God, they're all behind the boat. I ain't never seen so many permits. Try that fast reel in and then just let it lay it. You know, I did that down at the other place, and sometimes it, it really does. Yeah. You know, because if, you're, if your bait is not uh, moving and he's kind of lethargic, he's kind of half dead, and you speed it up real quick and uh, make him dart, it shines. Yeah, it does. Mm. Man, this drag was tight. Man, I like tugging on a redfish. You got one on back there, Glenn? Yes, sir. All right. What's Jim doing? Uh, Jimmy's watching. Moving, moving the rides. I'm having fun just catching fish, man. Oh, a screamer. There we go. Double permit. We got the stop. We stopped him. Whether they're 10 pound snook, 15, 20, 30 pound snook, 40 giant. God! <laughs> Can't tell how I am on uh, you. Lift up, lift up. Okay. There we go. Right over top. Over, under, okay. under, 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 under. Ballerina impressions. <sighs> Here's a double hookup here. Double permit. How could you not catch a fish out of that school? Yeah. There was only 2,000 permits. It wasn't, a, it wasn't a snook, right? No, we're not done with the snook yet. We're going to do our best to bring you some snook today. Some of those giant ones that we've been talking about. But right now, these permit have got center stage, brother. <laughs> See if I can do this guy. You got him up? Yeah. Permit. Oh, nice little one. Yeah, those are good for pictures. Good for pictures. Just zoom in. Hold on. Uh -oh. Hey, you got a double hook up here. Hang on. Can you get him? Yeah, yeah, double baby. permit. Double <laughs> permit. <laughs> Woo! Don't stick around. We're going to try to bring you some snook next. Okay. Should we do the double release? Double release. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Glenn, thanks, man. Bet you. Let's go get those snook. i never seen permit like this. They're out in front of the boat again. Man. Stick around. We'll have some more fish for you. Catching some bait. Oh, only got one. Bait here on the Sabikis because the water's a little too clear to get them with the net. So, uh... Catching greenies. Yeah, let me see how many we've got here. If we've got, uh... well, uh, we just ran over them. It's probably a couple hundred anyway. They're one big bunch, and they're spawning, and uh, they're hungry. They're hungry. They're I aggressive like that. fish, and uh, I think if we can get them going here, we can probably catch a couple hundred. No, that's exaggerating. We should be able to get 10, 15 nice snook off here. You know, and uh, these are all the 25, 30 pound snook. Mogans. And uh, this <laughs> time of the year, what do the crackers call them? Racing mullet. <laughs> the circle hook is the best for the uh, tarpon. Yeah, for tarpon uh, is really Because good. they got, uh, the tarpon's got that little slot up on their upper mouth. And if you, uh, that somehow that circle hook just seems to get right in that groove. And uh, you got a lot more hookups. You banging these snook right away off the bottom? Uh, yeah, just let him pull it down. Uh huh. 
Let them just, you know, uh, once you feel, they'll thump it real hard. And when they do, just, you know, just bow to them a little bit and hit them. Okay. Because they're hitting these greenies out of aggression, they're gonna kill them. They're not really out to eat them. Here's a hit. What do mangroves look like? There he is. Oh, God almighty. Look at that baby go. <laughs> Man. Lord, have mercy. Sounds like sewing thread. And he ain't stopped yet. It's about as thin as sewing thread, but this is 30, 30 pound test. There. Just turn back to me. You, you ready for me, Jimmy? Yeah. You ready for me? This guy here turned and came right back to the boat. Oh, awesome. Oh, a triple! <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, this is a strong wow. fish right here, brother. Boy, I tell you, guys, you don't need to fish these fish on a fall tide either. Incredible. Places where we get them up around in Cocoa Beach, they don't, they, they, you don't come out like this on them. I know they hang around the wrecks like you're talking, but nobody ever fishes them. It's like an untapped fishery. Like you said, everybody thinks they got to go around mangroves okay. to catch these See this? Snook. I just threw a bait out. Watch this. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! This guy has got I to. I mean, that bait just hit the bottom, and this is a big fish. <laughs> This is a huge fish here. This is 30 pound power perch. You see the thing screaming? I cannot wait to see the size of the head on this thing. Yeah, I tell you, these fish are averaging right now. Now you said 25 to 28 pound fish. Well, Glenn, you said they're not really attacking the baits to eat it. They're attacking them to, because they're out here spawning. And... Uh, yeah, and I think they're just killing it. Out of aggression, they're, they're killing this stuff. This is a big fish here. Got him up, Jim? You need a hand? Okay. Got him. <laughs> hey, there you go. Oh. Nice. Kiss him, Blair. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love it. I'm gonna show you something about these snook that will flat tear you up here. They got gill plates right here that are razor sharp. Oh, look at this big one. Oh, look snook. at this guy. We're gonna let this guy go and show you this big one. Ooh, as he almost jumps on me. That big old He's snook gone. right there. There you go. You got him. Got him. Look at that Look fish. at the size of the snook. Got him. And we pull it. There he is. Oh, that's a big one there. Oh, that's, that's a big old Look fish. How, Look at him. Man. Look at the girth on him. Yeah. Look at the top of his back. Look at this. Look, look at the at width that. of that thing. Look how fat he is. That's, he a, is. that's a 28 to a 30 right there. Big nice, old fat. That's nice. a 28, 30 pounder. <laughs> they don't just live in mangroves, folks. This is awesome, right? This seems like we're out in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico. I'm going to come right back here on the back and let this guy go. <sighs> look at the girth on these snook. Tell you what, the girth on these things. What a beautiful fish. Whew. Right down his throat. There he goes. <laughs> I want one now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Put a head on him. I love that Labrador look. Unbelievable. Jim, I'm glad you found these fish, man. There he is. There he is, brother. Right there. Where'd you hit him at? Uh, right in the corner of the mouth. Oh, I know that. <laughs> He's right behind the boat. Nice. Ooh, just hope he stays off that anchor line up there. I'm gonna have to go around the front. Look at that. Yeah. 
Look at the mackerel out there, golly. Y'all ever get the chance to come out here and do this? I have never in my life experienced snook fishing like this. The guys with the uh, International Snook Federation, Jim O'Keefe back there, is doing a lot to make people more aware of these snook and how they're breeding. And I'll tell you what, it's just an incredible, incredible fishery. And these fish over here, I tell you, just awesome, awesome, awesome. N unlike catching them around the mangroves and stuff. Oh, this guy's huge. This guy is huge, and I'm gonna have to do a little. You gotta get me going around the boat. Have to do me a little uh, underneath the anchor line. He wants to stay right on this anchor up here. Come on. Look at the size of this snook. This is my biggest snook of my life, y'all. My biggest snook ever. Look at this pig. Look at this pig. Look at this pig. Unbelievable. You know, I wish we could show you the underwater of these fish, but I think it's a little bit too cloudy to get the underwater cameras out, so we're gonna pull this guy up. This guy just gave up. Uh, yeah. Okay, hold this, let me grab this guy. That's the biggest snook I've ever caught. And he's kind of stressed. <sighs> Definitely my biggest snook ever though. <sighs> Come on, guy. <sighs> yeah. Oh yeah. Put head on him. I love that Labrador look. Unbelievable. Jim, I'm glad you found these fish, man. Uh, me too. You and Glenn got uh, you and I was a little worried. You and Glenn got something going here, I tell you. Uh. Awesome. <laughs> there he goes. All right, Blair. I think they're about done for the day, and uh, I thought we've caught a few, don't you think? Tell you what, these fish have just gave us a total ball. Glenn, I appreciate it. You're welcome, sir. Glenn Andrews aboard the Mary Kay. Awesome fish. Jim O'Keefe, International Snook Federation. Check more on the International Snook Federation on our website, addictivefishing.com. Learn a lot about these snook. A lot. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, They're a ball. It's been a pleasure. See you next week. Peacock bass, baby. They're all different. That was neat. That was neat. Fort Lauderdale, Margate area.